Have you allowed any dreams to get buried in you? At one time, you believed you could do something great? I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. All of us have things that we're believing for, something that we want to accomplish. Deep down, we know it's a part of our destiny. We can feel it so strongly, but then we hit some setbacks. We didn't get the promotion. The medical report wasn't good, or a relationship didn't work out. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes, it's easy to settle for mediocrity even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. What did you used to be excited about? Now you think it's been too long, it's too big, it's not possible. You don't think you could write the book, finish school, see a marriage restored, start the business, no, get your passion back. You have not missed your opportunity. You have not had too many bad breaks. You're not lacking. You didn't get shortchanged. When God breathed life into you, He put in you everything you need to fulfill your destiny. Get your shovel and start digging that dream out. Some of you have done this so long, you need a backhoe. You need some heavy equipment. That dream is way deep, but you can dig it out. You can bring it back to life. It starts in our thinking, in what you're believing, in what you're saying. No more, it's never going to happen. I'll never break this addiction. I'll never live in a nice house. I'll never finish college. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you will realize is that you are more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. It's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you associate with winners, that you work your system, that you are relentless, that you never give up. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. When you have a dream, you're going to have some detractors. People will get jealous, try to make you look bad, try to talk you out of it. Say things like, you really think you can get that promotion? You don't have the experience, the talent, I don't think so. Let that go in one ear and out the other. People don't determine your destiny. I say this respectfully, but sometimes your relatives won't celebrate you. Sometimes the people closest to you will be the least supportive. Don't get distracted fighting battles that don't matter. Trying to prove to them who you are, trying to convince them how they should be for you. You don't need their approval. You what stirs them up is the fact that you're moving forward, pursuing your destiny. They would love to convince you to keep your dream buried so you don't rise higher and make them look bad. They don't realize God has put dreams in them. If they would stir it up, they could fulfill their purpose. Successful people, people that have a dream, 
don't waste their valuable time looking at what everybody else is doing. They're too busy focused on what God has put in their own heart. Bottom line, the enemy targets people who have a dream. He'll use opposition, discouragement, delays, jealousy, everything he can to try to convince you to bury that dream. If you're going to reach your highest potential, you have to make up your mind that you are in it for the long haul. You're not going to let people talk you out of it. Circumstances discourage you. Delays cause you to give up. Critical people cause you to get distracted. You're going to stay focused on your goal. certain things that will happen in your life that make you pick up the pace, that, that slap you out of your stupor and say, this ain't no time to cry. Because success is never an accident, and if you don't want it, get out of my way. Because there are some people who want to do something with their life, who will run. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them, than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it, than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail, than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea of wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm gonna go for it. Come hell or have water, I'm going after my destiny. Because there are some things in your life that will make you run. If you run after your destiny, you will automatically distance yourself from your history. The one thing I can tell you for sure is that nothing is for sure. Run. Run. And run. You gotta run after your destiny. You gotta run after it. You gotta run after your destiny. 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 You gotta run after it. You gotta run. I'm getting ready to run. Give me some space, cause I'm getting ready to run. Get up out of my face, cause I'm getting ready to run. Don't have time for what you're talking about, cause I'm getting ready to run. I'm gonna run! I didn't get it till I got to this age, but I'm gonna start running. I messed up junior high, but now I'm gonna start running. I messed up high school, but now I'm gonna start running. The moment you get the word, you ought to run. The Bible said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. When God gives you a chance at an escape, don't be cute. Run after your death. You can't stroll after your destiny. You can't walk after your destiny. You gotta run! How you give your life, to give the best that you have, to give love, to give encouragement, to give help, to give support. If that's what your life is about, whatever you put out here, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you, it's going to come back. Now the reason that most people don't give is because they operate out of a, a consciousness of scarcity. They don't believe that there's enough to go around. They can't see themselves having the capacity to give. They don't believe that they have anything to offer. They don't see themselves as an opening for the universe to work through. 
So if you begin to look at this new era that we're in, begin to see yourself as an opening for the universe to move through, to work through, to make a difference in life. See yourself being used by life to improve the quality of life, to expand and to grow. Most people have a very limited view of themselves and a very limited view of the universe, do not see their relationship to the universe and cannot see how energy and things can flow through them. I love Gibran and the prophet. Then said a rich man, speak to us of giving, and he answered, you give but little when you give of your possessions, but it's when you give of yourself that you truly give. Gibran goes on to say that those who give little of the much which they have, and they give it for recognition, and their hidden desire makes their gifts unwholesome. And we know people who give only to be recognized. I love that old saying, judge a man not by what he does, but by that that he doesn't have to do. And to judge the true quality of a man is what do you do when nobody's looking? Gibran goes on to say something else important. He says, and there are those who have little and give it all. These are the believers in life and the bounty of life.